This video is about EMDR, eye movement desensitization reprocessing, but I'd like to specifically bring an example. This is a made up example, but it's, it's reflective of a lot of the clients that I would see in my practice. So I'm going to talk about this person and we'll call him, we'll call him Bert. Now Bert is hardworking, he's in management and he wants to progress. Uh, but Bert just won't take a promotion. He really, really struggles with being the center of attention. And this promotion will mean he's gonna have to give a lot of talks to a lot of people. He's gonna have to make a lot of decisions. And he really, really fears criticism. He fears that if, if he's in a, a higher level position, people will um, maybe see the flaws in him and maybe not like him. And just, he can't even put into words, but there's something incredibly fearful. Now for Bert, this is really tough because he's actually holding back his uh, career progression. There had been some incidents at school where he had been quite ridiculed. There'd been a particular head teacher that had been really, I guess, really quite uh, horrible in the words that had been used. And this had created what we call a small T. It's a, it's a trauma that's not major, but it actually had a really large impact on his self-esteem, particularly academically, thinking about his career. Now, what happened with Bert, that when he thinks about taking a promotion, he feels not good enough. And then when he feels not good enough, he feels like a failure. And then those cognitions start to impact on how he feels about himself, and then depression takes hold. So actually, even though what happened uh, with the head teacher wasn't a major trauma, it was creating um, distress and it was actually creating depression and then the depression was impact on impacting and how he was acting at work further decreasing his chance of uh, progressing in a career and his self-esteem was just dropping so it's having a major effect on his relationships and his friends and his life overall so this negative comment these negative comments that he had from the head, head teacher we can go back with emdr and we can process them which means take the power because they still had power over him when he thought about them he still felt almost in fight or flight he still felt anxious when he thought about them so what we needed to do was go back in time and actually go back to these original kind of seed events and actually process them. So they just become a memory. And I'll do another video on how it actually works neurobiologically, but I'm just gonna to stick to the example today. So Bert had tried to traditional CBT approaches. So he was doing all the breathing when he got triggered. He was challenging his thoughts. And no, I could make a good manager. I have, I have the skills. And he was doing visualizations of success, but you know, none of them were actually quite working. They just weren't cutting it because in the moment when he got activated, he got stuck in this place of not being good enough and being unsafe and all the kind of cognitive restructuring with the CBT, it just wasn't making any difference. And that's when I say it's a trauma reaction. This is not a here and now, my sort of cognitive thing that needs to be addressed. It's actually something that's an echo from the past that's coming back and it's having an impact now. So that's why EMDR is really effective. So what we did to help Bert was we went back to this early memory and we did bilateral stimulation while he entered the memory. And we just worked through it over and over and over until he could think about the memory and it wouldn't cause distress anymore. And that was working through with that phase four, I mentioned in another video of the, of the EMDR. So once his distress was down, we inserted a positive belief of him coping. His positive cognition was, I'm learning to see that I'm capable and skilled. And we actually uh, put that together with the memory. We did some more stimulation. He started to really believe it and then we followed through with all the different phases and till we got to the end and then we, that was the past and then we did it all again with a recent trigger and then we did it all again with the future imagine him going for this promotion imagine him in the interview imagine him doing the jobs and being successful and actually working through that with the emdr so this is what i do with many clients with the emdr and what i find is that the fear just falls away and they start imagining themselves going for it. And then they do, and they go for the jobs, and they go for the relationships, and they go for the things they want because the EMDR has melted away the distress. If you'd like to know more about EMDR, there's a really useful uh, video on my website, malvernhillsprivatepractice.co.uk. It's put together by the EMDR Association. It interviews different people about EMDR, therapists and clients that have had it. If you think that e EMDR might be useful for you, whether you're local in Worcestershire or international, that's okay because remote EMDR is just as effective. Please contact us. You can complete a self-referral form on our website, malvernhillsprivatepractice.co.uk and I read it and we get back to you recommending the most suitable therapist for you. If you found this helpful today and you'd like to learn more about EMDR, trauma, psychology for wellbeing, please subscribe. Thank you.